Okay, so we're gonna do this little production here. Let me turn off the speaker so we won't get this big old hum. Like that. Hey, done. And of course, we need this other stuff here. I better tell folks what we're doing. As folks may or may not know, I'm an audio dramatist. That must not, may not mean a lot to a lot of people, but you know, it means stuff. Okay. And uh, I, wrote a, I wrote a piece a while ago, in uh, 2017, I think it is, uh, August 2017, I believe. That's before Rob Mugabe was out of office. And it dealt with, with rep reparations, really. But uh, really, what it dealt with, well, you'll see from the piece. We'll do after the piece. So in audio drama, a lot of times, uh, it's just voice acting. But sometimes you have to get in the mood, you know. So as you see, I've cut my mustache a little bit, so I got the... You know, the, 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 I call them a Mugabe-esque. I don't really, and instead of wearing a big Mugabe glasses, like whatever, I'll just put them right here to indicate that this is Rob Mugabe. I don't have a real hat. I, I, yeah, I, I can really African hat, but I just do one of these. And uh, I'm going to, well, Master Tolly here, he's going to, here's my thing on. He's going to uh, be the sound effects person, so you see an audio drama, we have sound effects people. And my lovely wife over there, she's gonna play Miss Lizzie. There you go. Hi. Uh, move, move your stool, little stool, a little closer. Just move your stool a little closer, because I want you to pick up sound real good. Move, move, move. Just come close, close to me. Here we go. Closer. Yeah. There we go. You can read it from there. Um, so let's just start, and then afterwards I'll just tell you what it's all about. Yeah, but let me, before I start, let me just read this little part here. Um, and since the uncle, the, the title of the piece is Uncle Bob and Miss Lizzie in Reproachment or Reprimand. Okay, how do you say that? I just a little note. Since the uncle in the title is Robert Mugabe, president of Zimbabwe, well, currently he was president of Zimbabwe, so why not anymore? And Miss and Miss and and the Miss Liz, and the Miss is Elizabeth, Queen of England. The re reproachment is apropos, right? In southern in, in southern Africa, uncle can be a good title, but many times it is an uncle who does dirty deeds at times, <laughs> because he is arranged so long. The uncle designation is a view as is viewed as sarcasm, as far as uncle, as uncle Bob is concerned. More is concerned. Uh, Miss in this context is a, is short for Missy, which is definitely a, a black American sarcasm. So anyway, so and of course the reproach model is between two countries. Okay, so let's let's start. So we start with our sound effects. I didn't expect you to open the door, Miss Lizzie. With all this high think security, I saw you coming, Uncle Bob. Well, good. Oh, good. Oh, good afternoon. I must say, I'm very impressed, Miss Lizzie. High security or not. Afternoon to you also, Uncle Bob. You know what he said. You're never too old to learn. Besides, it's fun learning and playing with all these newfangled gadgets. Mm. Mm. Yeah, come in. We can chat in private in the parlor as I've dismissed all the servants and security is doing what security does in not making themselves known. Really? Well, that does surprise me. Oh, please, we are old, old friends. I still have fun memories when we dance together. It caused such a scandal. Of course, I acted up oblivious to the entire controversy. R really? Oh, don't feign ignorance. You knew it would. An authentic African revolutionary twirling around the ballroom floor with royalty and all. <laughs> well, those were the bold days. <laughs> Have a seat. Be comfortable. Oh, you first. Protocol and chivalry and all that. Of course. You do the honors and I pour the tea. That's certainly. Of course I know why you are here. But Nelson taught me to always speak last. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we learn a lot from, uh, from, from, from his father. He learned a lot from his father, uh, 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 Nelson did. It's a very simple matter I come to you today, Miss Lizzie. You see, long ago, much before your reign. That certainly was a long time ago. Uh, yes, indeed. And I must say, you are looking very, very, very well indeed. Oh, I thank you. And you look well also. I see you still sport that cute little moustache. 
thank you. Uh, but, but the point, but, but, but to the point, to the point, Miss Lizzie. Yes, to the point. Something to do with my crown jewels? Yes, that, that and more. More? You should understand by now that it seems there was a bit of misunderstanding, a miscommunication as far as the, as the precious, uh, as well as semi-precious stones are concerned. Precious, mi precious stone? Miscommunications? Um, that, uh, as well as many, many artifacts, you and other continentals are... Uh, Me? Uh, yes, you and other continentals are currently holding in your possession. Talk about miscommunications. We didn't pick up surveillance or chatter about other matters. Oh, well, well, that was probably because we switched from an SAA flight to an Ethiopian Airlines uh, uh, on our way here. We were wondering about that. Well, my wife is using our plane, and I thought I would just hop on an SAA uh, flight rather than wait for one of our you know, other jets. Uh, but the SAA plane had some difficulties, you know, in a way. Well, that doesn't matter. You got here safe and sound. Uh, of, of course. Uh, back to the point. When all those jewels and artifacts were taken from all those uh, colonies, you thought, naturally, that they were given to you and your ilk uh, as, a pres as presents or tributes or whatever you'll call these things. Given? Oh, oh, na oh, naturally, of course. Uh, uh, to the sleep goes the spoils, as you American black cousins would say. Oh, oh, hmm? uh, I've never heard that expression. <laughs> Well, they don't exactly use the King's English and are always changing expressions, as you must know. Yes, yes. And their music drives me crazy. I think their entire so-called culture is having a negative influence on my children. Oh, but uh, you were saying... Uh, oh, yes, yes. It seems... Uh, you good people thought the items were given to you so that you uh, could finance further plundering of the Commonwealth and the like. Truth be told, you do know we usually hear only what we want to hear. Uh, uh, my, my point exactly. Understand, we, uh, we would uh, be... Uh, 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 that would be a collective Commonwealth, we, I mean, we. We, we were... Um, um, we were but leasing the items, items to you. We were leasing the item, items oh. to you. Oh? Yeah, and, and you owe back payments for, for leasing and rental and all. Well, oh. No, no, now, do not get us wrong. And again, that would be the collective us. The collective, the entire Commonwealth, us. Uh, I am authorized to speak not only for the Commonwealth, but also for all co uh, colonial and slavery victims of the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. System? Oh. Uh, yes, system. I should point out that there, uh, there that, that uh, well, 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 that there has no place in, in modernity, uh, as we know. It, it, well, that system doesn't embrace. It, 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 it doesn't. How do you say? Uh, uh, embrace, embrace justice, uh, or, or justice of all things on the planet. Justice? But doesn't the system of justice come from us, not you? Did we not teach you justice? The system, yes. As, as, as perverted and, and twisted as it, it seems to have turned in the past centuries. But now, this is important, Miss Lizzie, and I don't want you to, and I, and I do want you to listen and hear this well. No, I'm all ears, Uncle Bob. The system is one thing, but the, def the, but the defining principles of justice the word in the modern epoch has uh, been finally defined by beyond sketchy past definitions, allowing for this plunders, uh, allowed those, those past definitions allowed for the plunders in the first place. Well, this is certainly intriguing. Actually, this modern definition comes from one of my American cousins, as you say, an elderly gentleman called uh, by the name of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Neely Fuller? Okay, I'm listening, but I've never heard of the man. Regardless, his definition has, in, has been embraced by all the downtrodden, without exception. It is a part of a code uh, to counter the age-old system of white supremacy, racism, that is. Okay, so now you're also speaking for the downtrodden. You don't seem downtrodden these days. Actually, I am but a messenger in this process. Messenger. Oh, well, what's this definition? Simply stated, it defines justice as, and I quote, the guarantee no one is mistreated and those who need help 
get the most constructive help possible. That's a close quote there. You really? Well, well, I think I've stated it correctly. Mm -hmm. And as part of this constructive help uh, possible, they are, uh, well, well, we are saying you can continue holding on to the gems, minerals, artifacts, and all that stuff, uh, uh, keeping them safe and secure, but the past leasing and rental must be paid, as well as any future re revenues commission from the source items. Oh, I... Okay, I'm a bit perplexed. Actually, none of this hinges on your state of mind, as the past, current, and future profits will be used by the victims of your injustices that to make our cultures and peoples whole again. Whole again? Uh, yes, whole again. As in, after your ilk rained down destruction along with uh, along the process of our own uh, partial liberations, economic pieces were left out and ignored. Uh, all kinds of things were we're done. No, oh, please stop. I, but I can see the point. Great. So, so now that we have, now that you can see the gist of the matter, we can. Indeed. Uh, uh, well, uh, I will take my leave now. Oh, but but I thought we were to discuss and negotiate. Actually, there is nothing to be done beyond what I have messaged uh, to you already. But but. Your system, the system you, the collective you, from the from Constantine through Leopold, the, the, the second one, and, and the many empires before, between, and after, to the uh, corporations starting from the Roman Catholic Church through to, to, through to this day, this is what I've been told, through to this day, the modern banksters included, all, each and every one, are done. But, but Your but, despotism but, and shenanigans, shenanigans are done. But. Done. Finished. But, but, rep, rep, reparations are overdue. Reparations are overdue. Restitution is the order of the day. This will not. And I will. And I need not tell you this. I do need to tell you this. Are you listening? You you, you don't understand. This justice stance applies to all of the current waters leaders who have taken your model to morph them into their own purposes. Yes, I'm talking about the current African leaders, etc., and all around the world. And yes, that means me also, my ilk, will we, we will exist no more. Ooh. Thank you for your tea and hospitality. But Robert. I hope to twirl with you on the dance floor, uh, ballroom floor, that is, Miss Elizabeth, very soon, soon and very soon. That's the end. Soon indeed. <laughs> she does that. So there you have it. That was, uh, that was a piece written, like I said, I didn't realize. Uh, one of the things, I'm just reading it now, remember I said the SAA, and then we'll go to Ethiopian Airlines, now we have the Ethiopian Airlines, just had it, you recently had it crash. I like that, so he's named two uh, airlines. Oh, no, no, they were trying to move. Robert Twist. Uh, I, I, let's, let's, let's not go through any conspiracy theories. This is this is merely a presentation. So here's so here's what this whole thing was about. I think that everybody is in the aid US movement, every place, wherever everybody have different spreads, have different things. No, people some people are researchers, really good, some people articulate really good. So I, mean, I write audio dramas. You know, and some people, you know, you have your rappers, you have your poets, especially the poets, poets, everybody needs to step up. I, I you know, it used to be an African tradition. Like when somebody is born, everybody in the, in the village does something like like yeah. the, the dancers dance the yes. poet's poet the whatever the drummer's, whatever, the, the the drummer's drum and the well, this, act. that's it the actors that so i'm saying with this movement the ideas movement you'd have to first of all i just think you should just check out the website you know www.ados101.com uh, 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 check them out. Get, uh, listen to, to Yvette Cornell and, and, and Antonio Moore all the time. Read some Darity, some some you know uh, some Sandy Darity, um, um, some some Hamilton, and then you know get what the, what, what's doing. So so that when you create something, you don't create it outside of what we're trying to do. And when I say we're trying, ADOS is the spearhead right now. We're the, 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 the tip of the spear. We're the tip of the spear. You know what I mean? Other other other. Oh, Organizations have existed in the past. When they were the tip of the spear, they did what they did. But now, really? now we're the tip of the spear, so now we're doing what we're doing, yeah. and that's what should be done. Okay, so uh, that's it. Thank you so very much. See you again sometime. Thank you, my actors, my sound effects person. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye.